Amir Khan reveals that Canelo's gloves had very little padding when he fought him a couple years ago. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It does help the channel when you guys click on that link. So appreciate you guys. Right now, people are on lockdown, shut down, be safe, stay home. And a lot of people are quarantined. So if you need something to do, you know, hopefully you're doing productive stuff. But if you need some, you know, you, you can't work around the clock. You need something to watch, check out ESPN Plus. You can get it as a standalone app or you can get ESPN Plus in a bundle, a trio bundle with ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three of those apps, one price, $12.99 a month. And again, it does help the channel in such a phenomenal way. Now let's get it. Canelo did an interview, link in the description, and I'll jump right into it. He talks about when he fought Canelo, he says Canelo's gloves didn't really have that much padding. He says, I've always said boxing isn't a level playing field when it comes to the gloves. Every glove is different. When I fought Canelo, he had the Everlast horsehair gloves on. When I put my hand in, it was like pushing to the wall. But you're going to damage your, your hand as well. They were solid. It was like being hit with a baseball bat. The foam padding ones. The shape always stays the same. With the horsehair, it fades more towards the back of the hand. So the way your knuckles are more visible. Without padding in the way, that's going to put more pressure on your knuckle, so you're going to be hit with a bare hand. I could never do that because my hands aren't strong enough to do that. I'd break my hand if I fought like that. Some fighters have the hands where they could punch through a wall and wouldn't break their hands. I think the playing field should be the same for all fighters. You've got Grant. You've got Rivals. you got Everlast. You got all different types of gloves. Every glove is different and made in a different way. Nowadays, you could talk to the owner and say, listen, I want a knockout glove. Make sure the padding is more on the wrist and not on the knuckle. I could call up and say, I've got bad hands. I need more padding on the right hand. And he'll say, no problem. So imagine someone saying, look, take the padding away from the hand and put it more on the top half. They should have one glove for everyone. That's why the, they have these brutal knockouts happening. When you're fighting someone and you know they're wearing a certain glove, you know what their game plan is. You got guys that aren't really punchers and they're going to wear the smaller Reyes gloves. You think this guy is going to try to knock you out. I'm going to have to be smart in this fight and be prepared. Then you've got Canelo who was wearing the MX gloves and they got nothing in them. I knew that he was just looking for that one big shot. You know the mentality from the type of gloves that they're wearing. Try it next time. When you see a fighter, look at the types of gloves they have, and that'll tell you about his game plan. Wow. Wow. So this is obviously in the midst of Tyson Fury glove gate. So that was pretty telling from Amir Khan. And, you know, the people in old media who have tried to make the Tyson Fury issue a non-issue and make it look like, oh, the commission checks the gloves and stuff like that. You're getting testimony from Amir Khan, who has a very solid resume. You know, he's been in there with Maidana. He's been in there with Canelo. He's been in there with guys like Devin Alexander, you know, Chris Algieri. He fought Marco Antonio Barrera, who is a legend, right? So he definitely has a resume, silver medalist, and... He's telling you it's not on an even playing field. He's telling you little ways that you can manipulate gloves or, you know, complain that the glove is. This is exact. Literally what Amir Khan is saying is almost verbatim what I was telling you, like like with the Tyson Fury glove gate. Tyson Fury is a big dude. He can express discomfort and like, let's say his his hand is a certain size. Right. And say, oh, that it feels weird on the right hand you make it a little bit bigger you know what i'm saying so um mir khan also said verbatim what i said regarding 
there should be some uniformity like maybe um both fighters at least in the same fight wear the same gloves but since boxing has been a business and um such a money maker they've allowed fighters to have like elaborate ring walks which is cool i love that you know but they've also made the gloves more customizable and as long as it's approved then the commission will let you wear those particular gloves as long as it's supposed to be weighing the same size but all gloves are not made equal different people have different hands and that's just what it is and that customization could also lead to glove tampering you know where certain people you know hey why why does it feel like there's more padding in the wrist obviously of uh, the famous case of this would be floyd mayweather when he was going to fight madonna you know everybody talked about floyd mayweather madonna like hey what's up and floyd was like the gloves ain't got no motherfucking padding and that was definitely an eye opener because if you look at floyd mayweather the biggest star in boxing if someone's going to try to get one over on him and have gloves and you know under the radar pass those gloves as usable the commission was about to let him wear it until floyd made a fuss and you know i believe he had to pay madonna some type of money to not let him wear not the first gloves but even the second gloves that he wanted so yeah man this is boxing continues to shoot itself in the foot and there's just going to be more and more heat it'll never be taken serious like the nba and the nfl and the mlb organizations because they have hard and fast set in stone rules and governing bodies where you know if this is the policy every nfl player is pretty much subject to that you fail a ped test you're out you know you're suspended whatever things like that that's just what it is like the even like the leagues like nfl and stuff it ray rice when they took him off madden covers they you know just because he had the dv situation so you know they kick him off the team stuff like that but boxing is the wild wild west people cheating and they'll be back in six months you know so boxing you know never gets out of his own way it's a great sport a lot of history in the sport but amir khan's telling you exactly basically what i was telling you like there's di different ways to go around it like boxing's been around for centuries so you don't think cheating has been around for centuries or people finding ways around the system you know trying to cheat and beat the system so Amir Khan's what he's saying is very telling the Tyson Fury glove gate I could tell old media just wanted it to be over and they wanted people to just shut up and not talk about it so it wouldn't bring much focus to it but you know even though Amir Khan didn't really specify or talk about Tyson Fury situation it's all too convenient to me that he's choosing to talk about gloves and the the redistribution of padding and how you can contact the glove maker and say hey my right hand you know i need less padding in the knuckle area put it more on the wrist and it can get done so you know he, he be, and this is someone who's been in boxing for years whether you think amir khan could beat this person the arrow spins and that it's not about that it's about you know he's a person that's fought in this sport and he sees and he says it's not an even playing field so let me know what you guys think of amir khan's statement we're, we're definitely wilder fury three when that happens if it happens we don't know when with all the situations going on around the world but the gloves i promise you are going to be looked at and it's just too much heat on the tyson fury situation for them to dismiss it and the commission you know at the end of the day this is what happens when people when people cheat or find ways or have an end or someone dirty on the commission you know whatever the situation is that keeps allowing certain situations bad judge scorecards or you know a glove that looks tampered not properly played when the spot gets too hot because and what's done in the dark comes to light then you're liable to bring whole organizations down you know and put them in the hot seat and basically everybody goes down and scrutinized because people overplay their hand and people continue to try to do certain things till it, you know it could get to mess around get to congress and people lose their jobs or worse you know imprisonment you know different stuff depending on what's uncovered so that's that's one of the things when people take advantage 
you know, at the end of the day, what's done in the dark comes to light. The L.A. Rampart Division, the police, they was wild and they was basically gangsters. And people didn't necessarily know or they knew, but they didn't, you know, they weren't characters that they might have been people on the streets, like drug dealers themselves who knew. So they couldn't just go to the courts and say, hey, these cops is dirty, you know, and, and be believed. So it's going to be interesting with all this stuff because it's going to take for somebody to lose their life in the sport of boxing for people to really face the wrath of how brutal this sport is when people find little ways to get an edge via PEDs or tampered gloves or wearing gloves improperly and stuff like that. So we'll see. Let me know how you what you guys think about Amir Khan's statement. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.